Guys, so we actually get the final two cards for Clan Collection, I think so, because the set gets released this week, so they, better, they don't have time to reveal anything more. But yeah, it is actually Raging Fall and Maelstrom, but we also have the Grade 4 for Kyrie, uh, the Astius Ride Line stuff, and some new cards, so we're going to go through all of them, alright? So first, we have Pure and Sure Yakumina. This one is Kont Rigard Circle. If you have played an order this turn, this unit gets boost. Right, pretty simple. I don't know if you've seen this before, but yeah, it's just another card. We also have Delightful Encounter Gertie. So this is auto on the Regard Circle. When your unit attacks, if your Vanguard's grade is equal to or less than your opponent's Vanguard's grade, uh, Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets power plus 5,000 until the end of that battle. A very, very filler, you know, very filler uh, effect, so not really amazing. Then you got Spokesperson of Heavenly Voice Herjewel. So on White Wing, uh, when this unit is placed on the rearguard circle for, um, from hand during your main phase, you can counter blast one. Choose a card with the White Wings ability from your drop, not named spokesperson of the Heavenly Voice Herjul, which is her. A Herul. Oh, is it Herul or Herjul? I think they spelled it wrong. I think it's Herul. Uh, and call it to an open rearguard circle. So, uh, this is kind of nice. I guess you can call the, um, the grade three that makes all your wings like double wings or something like that and just call into the fields. So that's not bad or. Or call the one that gives gives a crit. So okay, okay, this seems okay. And then pouring expectation Ida. So auto regard circle when this unit attacks a vanguard. If you have a vanguard with Clarissa in its card name, choose one of your vanguards, and you may have that unit and this unit get power plus five thousand until the end of that turn. Uh, it's not very good because it's not earns correct, right? I think there's just better slots uh, that you can put. Um, now we actually get something for V. So this is a promo. This is a sh I think this is a shop tournament promo. So. Don't be alarmed, we should probably get it, right? So auto, when this unit is placed, this is Cezanda, by the way, Mitchell Battler, Cezanda. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, look at the five cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one grade two or less card with Extreme Battler in its card name from among them and call it to the Rearguard Circle and shuffle your deck. So pretty nice. Anything that can plus is always welcome in my books, especially for Nova Grapplers, because, yeah, Nova Grapplers sometimes... You know, it needs that help, right? It needs that help. Then the second effect is auto regard circle. When your other unit is stand by a card's ability, if this unit is on an additional regard circle, until the end of that turn, stand that stand unit gets plus five thousand, and this unit gets plus five thousand. That's that's pretty good. It's not once per turn, so whenever you stand lots, uh, you can this can get really really big. And I maybe it's good in premium. Maybe it's good in premium, right? Like using this as just an extra beater attack might be pretty good. Um, and it's basically costless. The entire card is costless. So, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Then we have Cutie Paratrooper. This is like Majidol versions so of like Majidol Cutie Paratrooper. When this unit is retired from the Guardian Circle, you may put this card into your soul. So this is an auto effect that is has basically all the Majidols have. And the second effect is auto on the back row rearguard circle. When your Vanguard with Harry in its card name is attacked, you may you put this unit into your soul as a cost, then choose any number of your rear guards of Majidol in the card names and move them to the Guardian Circle. So basically, if your field is full of Majidols, you can move them all to the Guardian Circle. And you might think, okay, so you guard the attack, but that's a huge neg, right? But you forget that basically all the Majidols have that when this unit is retired from uh, Guardian Circle, you can put it into soul effect. So it just goes back to your soul, and the next turn you can pop it off again. So I feel like. This is like, you can think of this as a little loop, right? You call this out of return and then you put them back into guard and things like that. So I think that's actually a really, really good card for Harry. And I mean, I think it's a shop a tournament qualifier, or shop, shop tournament reward, right? So should be pretty good, easy to get it. It should come out to the West, um, not much of an issue. So looking forward to that. And then we got next step, La Plume. So auto, when this unit is placed on the rearguard circle, if you have a vanguard with Astius in its card name, choose a grade two or less card from yourself with Astius in its card name, and we call it to an open rearguard circle as rest. Um, I mean, that's cool. You you call like another card out, I guess. Um, I mean, free stuff is free. Free stuff is free. So not bad, but I really, I'm not really thinking, like the problem with the Kai ride line right now is it's very boring. So I can't really think of how this fits into it because you're basically running a jumble of different cards right now, right? Next we have Astius X Live Kyrie. So this is a grade four Kyrie. 
Con, Vanguard Circle. All your rear guards place this turn gets power plus 5,000. So uh, every time you play down a card, it gets 5k. Not bad. And then the second effect is Auto Vanguard Circle. When this unit attacks, if your soul has a card with Kyrie in its card name, choose up to two of your rear guards, return them to your hand, choose two cards from your hand, and call them to the rear guard circle. So basically, you bounce two and you call two, but luckily, because your Kyrie has a continuous vanguard circle effect that gives power then they get power and that's pretty good you can also call them to like both the front rows to get um double of the attacks or you can make one big giant row as well so it's not bad it's not bad i think this if you just go into this Kyrie, um it could be less clunkier than the old Kyrie builds that we're running so uh, hopefully hopefully it's a nice plus i guess next we have some uh, Aqua Force thing. So Tier Knight Valeria, Con, Rearguard Circle. During this battle, during the battle that this unit attacked, if it's the fourth battle of that turn or more, this unit gets plus 10k. So it hits 19k by herself. Then on the second effect is Auto Vanguard Circle or Rearguard Circle. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, if it is the third battle of that turn or more, choose one of your opponent's Rearguards and retire it. And if it is the fourth battle of that turn or more, draw a card. Um, personally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of these on hit effects. Sure, they apply on hit pressure right on hit pressure but to be fair like i'd rather just get my cards now like i'd just rather get coral assault and just easy access to free free cards right this one requires a hit it, sure it hits 19 so it's hitting above spec a bit but still having to on hit to, to draw a card after after like a fourth attack it's, i don't know it's a bit of a risk it's a bit of a risk i'm not willing uh, to take. I think there's just better slots to be fair, right? Speaking of better slots, we have Cobalt Wave Dragon. Vanguard Circle, when this regard attacks, this unit gets plus 5,000 until the end of turn. So if you have a bunch of cards that attack, this is numbers. And then second effect is Auto Vanguard Circle. When this unit attacks, counterblast one and perform all of the following according to this unit's power. So 25k or more, this unit gets critical plus one drive until the end, uh, critical plus one, sorry, not drive, until the end of turn. Then 30k or more, you may switch all of your rear guards between the front and back rows, and then 35k or more, all your front row rear guards get power plus 10,000 until the end of turn. So overall, um, it's pretty, I think it's a waste, waste of a slot to be fair. Uh, I don't see anyone running this over any of the existing grade three chat. It doesn't have a rear guard effect. So yeah, it just seems kind of meme, right? Seems kind of meme. And then speaking of meme, we have Maelstrom Reverse. Blue Storm Karma Dragon Maelstrom Reverse. Uh, Oil Vanguard Circle. At the end of the battle, that your rearguard attacked. If that attack did not hit, lock one of your stand rearguards, and this unit gets plus a power plus 10,000 until the end of turn. If you have a card with Maelstrom in its card name uh, in your soul, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. So, uh, okay, that's cool. You get some retires going on for Maelstrom. Um, you get power, right? But you have to, at the cost of uh, locking a card, if you're locking a stand card, actually, if one of your rearguards don't hit. Um, so, ideally, like with Excel, with the Excel, you have like three other front row cards and three in the back. And then, um, you know, I guess that is your fodder that you can use to lock. But bear in mind, the attack has to not hit. So, if you're. Um, if they're all hitting, you're not locking. But then I guess, I guess at the same time, right, they might not have a field if they're eating all the damage. Because what you can do is, like, you can attack, like, a rear guard, and if they guard that, then you, you, you lock it, you lock something else, and then that becomes a candidate to get retired, right? So, uh, I think it's not bad. Then the second effect is auto vanguard circle, uh, when this unit attacks, if it is the fourth battle of that turn or more, counter blast one, and this unit gets critical plus and plus one, critical plus one and drive plus one, and it's the end of that turn end of turn at the end of that battle if the attack did not hit for each of your lock cards your opponent chooses a card from their hand or rear guards and puts it into their drop um okay so not bad like you get another crit you get another drive that is pretty scary so your opponent will be inclined to guard that but then they'll have to pay the price by discarding or retiring the same amount of stuff that you've locked now i think this could be absolutely brutal if your opponent's like at four or something you're gonna need to guard everything and then you're just getting a bunch of power all right and then yeah yeah that's i think that could be pretty nice you have to compete with old maelstrom and i guess glory maelstrom but i think glory maelstrom is like always an include because it's just so good so you have to kind of pick between uh, running this or old maelstrom i think this one is slightly better you know i think this one is slightly better uh i mean when you think about it this way if you went first right your opponent will usually have nothing on the field for you to retire um so you don't really need to worry about the first effect too much in, in just like, in, some, in a way where like you can just, just attack, right? Just attack and, hey, 
if uh, if that doesn't hit, then it is what it is, right? It is what it, what it is. Uh, your Vanguard just gets harder to guard. Um, yeah, I think I ran it on a bit too long about this, you know? It's just, I think I'm confusing myself now. But yeah, I think Maelstrom is like decently okay. It uh, definitely has some potential compared to the other reverse shooters that we've been seeing. So yeah, that, that's it, that's it. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Self Control Revenger Rakia. So auto soul once per turn. When this, when your grade three unit with Revenger in its card name is placed on the Vanguard Circle by riding from a grade two, search your deck for up to one grade one Revenger in its card name. Call it to the rear guard circle as rest and shuffle your deck. Uh, so it seems pretty good, right? It seems pretty good. You just get a straight plus, right? Just a straight plus, right? Uh, I don't think there's any catch. I'm gonna see any catch. Uh, then the second Vegas act rearguard circle once per turn. Cost Soul Blast 2, choose a grade 2 with the Revenger in its card name from your drop zone and call to the rearguard circle in the same column as this unit. So I think this is alright, you don't really use that much soul in Revengers, and um, yeah, just getting a grade 2. I think you get your best friend, right? You get like, uh, is it not Rakia, is it Rukia or Rakia? But yeah, so you can get Overcoming Revenger Rukia, so... Auto Vanguard Circle, when this unit is rode upon by your unit with Revenger in its card name, look at the top three cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one card with Revenger in its card name, and grade equal to or less than your opponent's Vanguard from among um, from among them. Reveal it and put it into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in, in order, and the second effect is Continuous Regard Circle. If you have a grade one Regard with Revenger in its card name in the same column as this card, uh, this unit, this unit gets plus 5,000. So I guess it's just an easy uh, 23k, right, column. Because you're calling out with, with Rakia. So yeah, I think that's okay. Um, and then you're getting a plus when you ride on top of this. So I think these these support units have been just really, really good. Right? They've been really good, making the entire deck more consistent. And then finally, we have Revenger Raging Fall Dragon Reverse. So act. Vanguard Circle costs lock one of your rear guards with Revenger and its card names. Choose three of your units with Revenger in their card names and then get plus 5,000 until the end of turn. Um, so not bad, not mad, okay. You have to lock your own stuff. And the second effect is Auto Vanguard Circle once per turn. This ability's cost is reduced by Counterblast 1 for each of your locked cards. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, Counterblast 3 and discard three cards from your hand. Choose up to two of your stand regards and lock them. Uh, choose up to, right? Then if you have two or more locked cards or five or more cards in your damage zone, stand this unit. Um... Okay, I mean, I think this is, honestly, at first, right, I was, like, thinking this card is really, really bad, but thinking, like, it's applications, I can see where you want to use it. Like, the moment you ride grade three, right, you can technically, can't you technically pop off of this effect? Because, one, right, you can just make a full field, so you have zero CB costs, so they cannot, like, deny you and expect to live, no. Right, you can just pop off. So if you like lock three already, your your basically front row gets plus 15k. So you're at 28, and then with the force mark, you're at 38, and you restand once. Right, it's a once per turn. Um, you don't need to lock anymore. You only need to like discard three because you've locked it all from your first effect. Right. So it's a it's a CB list discard three restand, um, and the vanguard circle is hitting like 38. It can hit up to 38, and then your rear guards can be like something like. 25 or something like that so uh, i think it's a yeah you, you get to restand with them so it seems pretty I, it seems okay it doesn't seem as bad as initially thought there's basically like no restrictions on it except that you probably need to make a bigger field than usual and then lock things just for the sake of it right um so yeah raging raging fall reverse uh, the other the other the other kind of application is like at the end of the long chain right so your raging form goes into raging form then it goes into this guy Maybe, and then you just CB3 for the cost and just suck it up, you know, as like a last ditch finisher. But yeah, I guess like just from the first effect, you don't really need to pump that many force uh, ones around on the Vanguard Circle, even you, though you can double dip. Might be better to just like go somewhere else, like put the put the force marker somewhere else or maybe get like a, I mean, you can go force two, right? Maybe you can force two because because of that first effect you can get big. But then you're going to suffer because your Raging Form Realize are going to be bad. Uh, yeah, so, I, I don't know. I think this is actually okay. The Grade 1 and 2 is actually just, like, a lot just straight up looks better. But I think, like, there might be a case to, to use this just for, like, a quick kind of rush, restand kind of thing. Or not. Um, but, yeah. CB3. 
CB34 kind of sucks, so you have to lock for it. Uh, but yeah, I think I ran, ran it on a lot about these reveals. There has been a lot of reveals today. Let me know what you guys think of these cards. Um, I did have to like I did have to like think about this. Like my initial impression on Raging Fall was like, oh my god, it's gonna be amazing because it looks good. But then it turns out it doesn't look that good in terms of effects. But then, like, you know, after thinking about how to apply it in the game, I can kind of see it work, but whether it beats things like the prisms and the Loires and all that, I don't know. We'll have to still kind of stay put and think about it. So, yeah. That's it for me. I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.